all right everybody welcome back to another project series in this project we will create a serverless registration form using aws lambda and dynamodb let's begin with the first step so the step one would be to create the dynamodb table so we will create a dynamodb table that will store the data submitted through our registration form so when we will submit the registration form the data that we you know store on the registration form for example name email phone number all those things should be taken care or should be transferred to our dynamodb so we will be defining the table schema and setting the primary key in this step all right so the primary key should be unique for each item in the table so in our project we will be uh, choosing a suitable primary key based on our data in this project, we will use email as a primary key since it is unique for each user. So let's move on and go into this AWS management console and see how we can create the DynamoDB table and get started with the process. Right, everybody, I'm in my AWS management console. This is how the console looks like. Here I have already opened DynamoDB. I will be opening it again in the new tab. So here, this is the DynamoDB console and you need to create a new table. To do so, you need to click on this create table button here. I'll just click on that and you need to provide a table name here. Basically, you need to fill in some details to create the DynamoDB table, which we will do in this step. So first one is to provide a table name. So provide a meaningful name to the DynamoDB table. So if you cannot think of any name, I have documented all the steps in my GitHub repository. I'll make sure to give this in the description box below. Please check if you want to use the same names and conventions. Okay, so I'll copy this table name that is registration table and just paste it here. Partition key, basically partition key is part of the table's primary key. It is a hash value that is used to retrieve items from your table and allocate data across hosts for scalability and availability. So it is a required item. You need to provide a partition key. So I'll be choosing email as my partition key. So you will understand how this project is built uh, later. So I'll be providing email as my partition key now and I'll keep rest of the things as default and I'll click on create table. So that's it. You are good to create. You are done your part. You have created the registration table that is a DynamoDB. That's it for this video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.